I'm Kira TXNR509. Hey, this today it's interesting. It stopped uh, uh, making any sound, so there's no sound issue. You can see I'm connecting to this DVD player and it's playing, and um, but there's no sound. If you look at the display, you notice that the speaker's status is not uh, present here. So uh, this is pretty much uh, due to the DSP chips on the HDMI board inside the box. So we'll open it up and take a look and see whether we can fix it. Pull it out and disconnect the cables. Optical, HDMI. Audio cable. And uh, subwoofer. Speaker. Now let's try to remove the screws. Three screws on the side. and uh, three screws on the back. So there are two close to the power cable and uh, one on the other end. Now, we can remove it. Tilt a little bit. Then you can remove the cover. Okay. Now, let's take a look. So, um, Need to zoom in here. Let me clear and show you the details. Here. Penny, can you smell this one? Okay. Let me zoom in. This is the critical board. It's called HDMI board. So most of the um, uh, DSP, HDMI switching, and uh, DAC are on this board, and including the power supply, the the, the power converter. DC to DC converter, so on. Um, and the, if you don't have sound and the unit is seems working fine, then it's very likely to be 
I believe this is the, it says DSP on there. Let me zoom in. Very likely to be this guy. You see the DSP sign there? So, uh, this is quite common for most of the uh, Anq uh, AV receiver and some of the um, Pioneer AV receiver. Uh, the issue is that they use the um, BGA version of this uh, DSP chip. So the soldering could be um, an issue when they have reflow temperature set wrongly, or it could be just a heat um, thermal issue. But anyway, it tend to dis uh, desolder on some of the uh, solder balls and make the connection unsecure, which cause the uh, digital data won't properly go through this chip and it don't have sound and so on. Um, one way we can try to fix it is to use a heat gun to heat it up and uh, say uh, try to um, fix some of the uh, soldering migration issues. So it's weak contact or whatever. So in general, it could be a temporary fix it may not be permanent, but still, let's give it a try, and it might be a way to help you resolve this issue. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. So here we have a solder gun, a heat gun. Uh, make sure to choose a uh, smaller opening so that it's only heat up locally and I recommend to heat it evenly on top like this so and to turn on a relatively low temperature so I have two switches the first one says uh, 550 amp. let's try that first heat it up locally don't be too close, keep it out of, about an inch or so away just to heat it up and not affecting the surrounding component. Now, it won't totally reflow the solder, I believe. If it totally reflow it, we can take a look, cool it down. And, uh, while cooling down, we can connect things back together. Let's see. So, let's touch. Still hot. Wait a little bit more. Let it cool down. It's a DTS Dolby. This one is the Bourbon. 1690 deck, which is quite a nice deck. In another video, I will introduce how I um, convert this receiver as a as a deck. Basically, I output it to a to an amplifier, and I only use this pass through for HDMI, different sources, and only use the the deck for the bed best output and I did some uh, modification I'll show you in a separate uh, video yeah. touch it still warm it's interesting heat up lots of stuff adjacent stuff Now we can try to turn on. 
if we had that speaker. Uh, speaker is still not showing. Let's just play. Oh, the speaker comes up. Oh, okay, cool. So let me show you. This is what I'm meant for. Zoom out a little bit. Uh, so, see this speaker indicator here? It come up. So, it should work now. Mm -hmm.